Hello beautiful angels, it's Tessa of Akashic Soul Healing. I'd like to do a meditation for you so you can um, have this beautiful meditation with the waves. So you can close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Relax into your body. Let go of any concerns of the day, any anxieties or worries. Let go and be here now. Feel the presence of the ocean, the waves, and this beautiful sound of the ocean. Go into your heart space. Relax into your body. As we gather here today, we call forth thousands of angels and archangels in our space. We call forth the Ascended Masters, Melchizedek, Saint Germain and the Violet Flame. Envision the Violet Flame around us and the healing energies of the Amethyst. We ask Saint Germain to transmute all energy that is not of light, releasing any fear, blockages, any entities or souls that are attached to our energy fields. Releasing any drains, hooks, curses, vex, any vows or agreements, contracts that are not serving our highest good. We ask these energies to go back to the source of love and light. And we ask Archangel Metatron to open the cosmic portal right at the crown of your head, the crown chakra. Feel this beautiful light receiving this light from Archangel Metatron. Envision the universal golden orange light shining upon us. Feel the presence of Archangel Metatron. We call upon our higher selves and our body Davis spirits higher selves in the energy field to fully open and receive this angel's light attunement coming from the diamond portal of the angel's realm. Envision the diamond portal from the heavens with Archangel Michael and the blue ray of light. We ask Archangel Michael for protection to cut any cords of attachment to people, places, and things that are not serving our highest good. And we ask these energies to go back to the source of love and light. We call upon the spiritual teams and guides, our loved ones and ancestors from other dimensions, to create a safe and sacred space for our healing. We call upon the benevolent beings of light, the Pleiadians, Arcturians, 
Syrians, the Orions, the Mayans, the Zolkins, Andromedans, the Lemurians, Atlanteans, and all the ancestors to support us in our ascension process, to increase the frequency and vibration of our love and light. And we ask that these intentions will be received by our whole collective consciousness, the humanity, wherever it is needed. We ask for healing for all those who are grieving, mourning of their loved ones. We ask that their sorrows would turn into joy. That their hearts would be filled with unconditional love, forgiveness, and compassion. We call upon Archangel Shanuel and the pink light around our heart chakra. We descended Master Paul the Venetian. We ask any energies like brokenness, resentments, rejections, judgments, that we're not good enough, any emotions of regret, feeling insecure. any fear, fear of survival, lack of uh, funds, and all these emotions that are not serving us would be flowing, cleansing, releasing, and these beautiful waves are helping us in our emotional body. We ask Archangel Shanuel to infuse us with this beautiful pink light and the healing energies of those hearts to soothe and comfort our hearts, our emotions. Especially in this full moon energy, we ask that we'll be able to balance, be centered, and focus on the good things in life, being happy and joyful. And we ask the High Councils of Light to give us some messages for our healing. And as we gather here today, we are being asked to focus on love. Let go of any fear or separation. And when you are going through some tough times in your life, be aware that there is always a space to go to. And this is your heart space. Imagine this beautiful diamond portal in your heart, guarded by these beautiful four archangels, we call upon Archangel Raphael and the green light. Archangel Michael, the blue light. Archangel Gabriel, the pure white light. And Archangel Uriel for wisdom. We are being called to be responsible for our vibrations, vibrations and emotions that we bring into our lives because we are powerful co-creator of the universe. And this universe is us. This universe is ours. So we are chosen to co-create. And when we are co-creating, we remember that we are powerful masters. We have these uh, beautiful gifts and grace from the divine to fully believe and know that we are capable of creating anything possible. We are 
the miracle. We are miraculous because as we ascend in this incarnation, we become closer and closer to God or the source. So be easy on yourself, be light and gentle. And like children, approach life with awe, with purity, innocence, with gratefulness, laughter, and joy. And may you be blessed. Thank you so much for listening. Namaste.